Shelton coming to you from Morning Crane Healing Arts Center in Willow Glen. And today we are going to be doing the Strengthen and Lengthen class. Strengthen and Lengthen is a class that we developed many years ago and um, the focus is to strengthen your core and increase flexibility and tone through the rest of the body because the thing is, and this is studied through many of the world's traditions, is that when your core is strong, the rest of your body is strong. So these are simple movements that you can do at home in the comfort of your own living room backyard or with a friend. And the purpose is to increase strength through the core in the midsection and increase flexibility through the hips and hamstrings. Okay, welcome to Strengthen and Lengthen. This first practice is a grounding practice. And we're gonna start in a standing position with the feet together in a narrow spot. And then we're gonna create a diamond between the thumb and the index finger and allow for the fingertips to drop down towards the floor, spread the toes wide, and then slightly lifting up on the pelvic floor, tucking the chin, get tall through the crown of the head, and then for a moment, we're going to exhale and tweeze the body towards the center midline. There's a slight little, not clenching, but contracting of the glutes, and then relax, and then do that again. Contract, get tall, ground down, navel pulls towards the spine, and then relax. And again, contract, get tall, feel the collarbone go wide, and then relax the body. And again, exhale and inhale. And exhale, tweeze towards the center midline. Relax two more times, pushing down as you lengthen up and relax one more time, a tweeze towards the center mid, and relax, root down, take a nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, <sighs> allowing for the thoughts of the day to settle. Step one foot out with the knees bent, let's start by pulling down heavens, inhale, take a deep breath in, and exhale, grounding down through the feet. Do that again, inhale, exhale, focusing your breath into the lower abdomen. One more time, inhale and exhale. First practice is a body awakening practice called wrapping the waist or sometimes it's called knocking on heaven's door. If you can see my legs, I'm using them as a pump. Imagine this upward current of energy lengthening out through the top of the head. And for the backhand, you can see that I'm lightly tapping the lower back. What that's doing is stimulating the kidney energy. My front hand lightly tapping that crevice where the upper arm meets the chest. My tail is slightly tucked and just allowing for the head to follow that gentle swaying position. And then if I'm quiet for a moment, concentrating on the breath, a slight force of the exhale. Maybe do just a few more. Coming back to a place of stillness. Notice what you feel. I'm feeling an energy through the tips of my fingers, rooting down through the feet. And then we're gonna reach the arms up wide, interlace the fingertips, pressing the index finger up towards the ceiling. Take the eyes and the gaze, look up towards the back of the hand. Go slow here as you slightly bring the teeth together and the tongue to the roof of the mouth drawing the navel back, 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 coming into a backwards bend. And then inhale, tuck the chin, nod, yes, smile. Lift the heels up, rise up to the tippy toes, maybe take the eyes towards the sky, eyes to the sky. Drop the heels, bring the hands in front of the heart, take a moment here, namaste, and then fold forward and down, let the head drop. Feel the blood come towards the front of the face. 
nod yes, and shake the head no thank you. Drawing the navel up, keeping the knees bent, gently come back up to standing. Walking up the staircase of the spine, unfurling to the very top. Get tall, deep breath in, deep breath out. One more time, bring the hands up overhead, switch the lace of the fingers, and then look up, lace of the fingers, and slight backwards bend, teeth together, weight in the heels, toes are light on the floor, drawing the navel back. Tucking the chin, pulling the navel back, just being gentle as we lift the heels, rise up, coming into the body, wakening up every cell, every tissue, hands in front of the heart. Take a moment, set an intention, give a moment of gratitude as you bow forward, letting the head drop. Keep the knees soft here. Nod the head, yes. Yes, please being clear on your yeses, and then shake the head, no thank you. And being clear on your noes is just as important as being clear on your yeses. And then slowly keeping the knees bent. Oh, that feels good. Feeling this fanning open of the back as you come up to a nice, solid standing posture. Okay, now this is a power pose. We're gonna wake up the body, get the heart rate going a little bit more. We're gonna start by turning the palms up towards the sky and then maybe look at your hands, look at the palm of the hands, and then pull the elbows back and then squeeze the shoulder blades in on the spine. See how the ribs wanna pop out? We're gonna bend the knee slightly, tuck the tail. You can make a soft fist or open palm, whatever feels good here. And then we're gonna exhale, sit down, Inhale, rise up, squeeze to the center core. Ready, exhale, and inhale. Get nice and tight at the top, down, and back up. And again, exhale, down, inhale, up, squeeze to the center core. And again, ooh, I feel my legs starting to wake up. The arches of the feet stay lifted. See if you can relax through the forehead, the cheek muscles, generating a little bit of heat. Let's go three more down and back up two. Ready, hold it down, hold it nice and strong. Little baby pulse, pulse, what? And come on up, relax the arms, take a nice deep breath, pulling down heavens, inhale and exhale, cooling the body, calming the mind. Do that again, deep breath in and a long breath out. One more time, inhaling and exhale, smile. This next exercise comes from Dr. Mao from Infinity, and I sure do love it. We're gonna take a wider stance with the feet, with the toes out, heels in, sometimes called a horse stance. Still, you'll see my tail being tucked, collarbone coming out nice and wide. Bringing the hands to a prayer position and imagine like the palms of the hands, like whoosh, two magnets. See if you can feel this vibration, magnetic connection between the palms of the hands, sending muscle tone into the upper arms, engaging the buttocks. And then we're gonna sit down like you're pushing against a wall, press, feel the inner thighs, and then inhale, zip up to the center midline. Ready, exhale. Inhale. And if you wanna generate a little bit more heat, then you're gonna breathe in and out through the nose. If you feel hot or dizzy, let a nice sigh out through the mouth. Good, and lifting up, Uddiyana Bandha, right through the center mid, feeling that upward current of energy pushing against the wall. Rise back up. And let's go four more times, down and up. Oh yeah, feeling the body. Last two, one more time, ready, hold it down nice and strong, little baby pulse, and pulse, and hold it three, hold it two, and one, whoo, how did you do? Let's tap down the legs, down the front, and then pat up the back 
I like a little pat on the booty and tap down the front of the thighs and tap up the back side. One more time, tap down and tap back up. This next move, fancy heel toe, we're gonna come back with the feet together. Ground down, allow for the back of the throat to settle and then lift up and feel this connection, all this magic happening in your internal organs. It's quite amazing. Let's start by keeping one foot forward and then stepping forward with the opposite foot. Coming onto the ball of the back foot, lift the arms up towards the ceiling and relax the shoulders. There's energy in the fingertips, but my hands aren't super claw-like stiff, okay? And then we're gonna bend both knees, come down, and rise back up. And again, ready down and up. Ears above the shoulders, right above the hips. I feel this nice openness through the front of the thigh. And then coordinating the breath and the movement. Two more times, down and up. One more time, ready, hold it down. Keep the same arm as front leg forward and then reach back and see if you can look over your shoulder. Then bring that hand forward. Same thing, other side. Reach back. See if you can look over your shoulder. Come back to the middle and whoo, let's come on up. Step forward with the feet. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Same thing on the other side, keeping the opposite leg forward, stepping back, squaring off with the hips. Let the arms float above the heads and then relax the shoulder. Let's go down, like you're sliding down a wall. Down and back up. Feeling that strong connection in the center midline, rib to hip, front to back, left to right. Two more, down, exhale. Inhale, ready, hold it in the down spot. Okay, get nice and strong through your center core. Reach back behind, look over the shoulder. Spread the fingers wide, come back to the center, and ready, big reach, big stretch. Coming back, and one, two, three, come on up, big step. Take a nice deep breath, inhale, sigh of relief, and exhale. Doesn't it feel good to be alive? Again, deep breath in, long breath out. One more time, inhale, and exhale. And that concludes the standing portion of strengthen and lengthen. Okay, my friends, so now we're gonna come down onto the mat and work some core strength, core strength, booty length. Okay, coming to hands and knees, let's start with a little bit of cat-cow, tucking the chin, rounding the spine, pushing into the tops of the feet, let your head drop and then spreading the fingertips wide let your chest drop down eyes up teeth together look to the sky and tucking the chin make that rainbow arch exhale that exhale like like you're fogging up a mirror and then dropping the chest eyes up booty back Ooh, feel the front line stretch and again one more time this feels so good. Finding what feels good. Let your head drop. Chest down. Eyes up. Front line. Mm, 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 stretch. Now come to neutral spine. Tucking the chin. Elongating through the low back. Gazes forward to where the mat meets the floor. Let's start by floating a leg up. And then flex the foot. Dial the toes down. Reach up through your opposite hand. Hold it here, maybe close the eyes as you wrap the breath around the tailbone, connecting finger to foot, hold it for five, four, three, two, and one, lightly lower the limbs. How'd you do? My eyes were closed, I couldn't see. Same thing, other side. Float the opposite leg up, flex the foot, dial down with the toes, connect here, rib to hip. Let the opposite arm reach forward. Connect finger to foot, dial in through your center core, 
Maybe close the eyes. My eyes are closed. And hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Gladly lower the limbs down. Let's take the knees wide, toes together. Sitting back, extended child's pose, dropping the forehead to the mat, let the elbows soften. As you inhale, feel your rib cage expand. As you exhale, feel yourself relax a little bit more, a little bit deeper. And let's do one more set. Coming back up, hands and knees. Really pulling the navel up, up, up towards the ceiling, tucking chin, lengthening through the tippy top of the head, tippy top, and then float the leg up. Opposite arm reaches forward like you're gonna shake someone's hand. Nice to meet ya. And then pull the knee towards the elbow, flex down. Exhale, reach forward, reach back. Do that again. <sighs> Connecting with the breath. And again, exhale, knee to elbow, reach out. And two more times. And lengthen. One more time. Ready? Pull it in. Hold it out. Hold it here nice and strong. Connect finger to foot. Hold it. Hold it. And then, ah, and release. Good job. Same thing on the other side. We float the opposite leg up. Dial the toes down. Connect through your center midline. Then float the opposite hand. Let's go knee to elbow, flex and round down. Exhale, reach forward, reach back. And again, we contract and then we lengthen and send energy into the tips of the fingers, down through the tips of the toes. Again, and reach two more times. And last time, we're gonna hold it in the out spot, hold it here nice and strong. Hold it, hold it, lengthen, three, two, and one, lower down. Let's go knees narrow, heels come back. Ah, finding that child's pose position, finding what feels good, being mindful of the knees and the hips, modifying as you see fit. Let the hips come to one side and we'll swing the legs around to the front. And now the strengthen part. Okay, so take a nice deep breath and we're gonna roll on back. Okay, this next series is called the Canoe Series. You'll find out why very soon. Now just remember, strong core equals strong body. So we're gonna start with the feet out and the arms reaching above the head. Make like a pizza shape, pizza arms above the head. And then tucking the low ribs in and dropping the navel down. We're gonna tuck the chin and look towards the belly button, keeping the pizza arms. Step the feet in. Now depending on what's going on, neck, shoulder, hip, will determine on the straightness of the legs and also the depth of the legs. So find a canoe shape, canoe, here's the canoe, and we're gonna hold it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and wait, there's more. Then we sit up, and reach for the ankles, hallelujah. Come back, canoe, ready? Come on up, boat or teaser, depending Pilates or yoga. Ready, reach back and sit up. This time, we're gonna do a forceful exhale as if you're blowing out a candle and almost only four more. Here we go, three, yes, and two, Keep it up, one more time. Can we do that canoe one more time? What do you think, canoe, canoe? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold, oh, hallelujah. Woo, that really gets the abs, don't you think? Comment below. Step the feet in, then press your low back flat. And 
don't just work some traditional ab curls, but really focusing on keeping an open chest and the work happening in that space between the ribs and the pelvis. So nice space between the chin and the chest. We're gonna come up, drop the navel down, and relax back. Only to come straight back up and down. Do that again, ready, exhale, curl. Inhale, release. Again, yeah, see how my elbows stay wide? I'm focusing on expanding through the collarbone and keeping my low back pressed into the mat. And ready, exhale, curl, inhale, release. Again, and two more times. Feel those abs working big time. Oh, baby, and then relax the head back. Give yourself a nice hug, knees to nipple. Rock the boat side to side. <sighs> okay, two more sets here. This time we're gonna extend the legs long and flex the feet. So I want you to notice the difference. See, we're keeping the same movement from the hips to the head, but by positioning the legs in different orientation relative to the hip, we'll change which area of the abs that we're working. So now we go with a straight leg, feet are flexed, I push down through my heels and spread the toes wide, ready, curl up, look at the belly button, low back stays flush to the mat, and back down, ready, exhale, curl, and inhale, release. Again, up and down, see how my elbows stay wide? I keep space chin to chest, dropping down, and up, again. Use the breath, Woo, feel the abs, feel your core. Like I said, when the core is strong, the rest of the body is strong. And we're just gonna go five more, just like that for five. And here's four, three, two, last one. Hold the baby pulse, ready, pulse it out. Pulse, pulse, three, two, and one as I felt one drop of sweat. And then give yourself a nice big hug. Tell yourself something nice, like I'm so proud of you for making it here this far. It shows that you have commitment towards yourself. <sighs> and then we're gonna extend the legs straight, this time with the heels together. Toes are turned out. Now we're going more outer abs. Elbows wide and curl. And release. And again, ready up, look at the navel and back. Toes spread wide, curl, trying to clear the tips of the shoulders up and back down. And again, and three more times, three. Here's two. Now hold the curl, baby pulses, pulse it out, pulse it out. Three, two, and one. Give yourself a nice big hug one more time. Knees to chest, rock the boat side to side, finding what feels good. We can go one hand on each knee and then egg beater and swirl the legs around one way and reverse, swirl it around the other way. Take a tabletop position, arms out wide to a T, drop the knees to one side and then look at the palm of the other hand. Come back up and switch your Rooney. Drop the legs, look at the hands. Try to drop the shoulder blade down, spread the fingers wide. Ah, opening up through the heart and lung channels. Then come back to the center. Place the feet down. Let's do one set of shoulder bridging and then a hamstring stretch and then you're good to go. We're gonna lift the hips up. Okay, so spreading the toes wide, feel the four corners of the foot with the hips lifted. You feel an opening of the front of the hip, the psoas, and then bring the chest to the chin and take the eyes towards the sky. Eyes to the sky today. And so you can either hold it here, and this is great for toning the buttocks, the hamstrings, the core, feel this engagement, like a flatness through the belly. If you want a little bit more openness through the chest, then what you're gonna to start to do is walk the shoulder blades in and take the bind underneath the hips, the fingertips can interlace. 
you just decide where you are today. No judgment. Every day is different. Lifting the hips. Again, wrapping the breath around the tailbone. Take another inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. If you have the bind, then release the hands. Opening up across the upper back. Ah, oh, that feels good. And then super slow. See how slow you can go as you lower the hips down, down. One more time, down. Dropping the tail, find that neutral spine with that little bit of space behind the belly button. Then extend the right leg towards the ceiling and walk the hands up the leg towards the ankle. So this is going to depend on a lot of different factors. We're gonna to try to walk the hands as close to the feet as possible, but for me, I have long arms, so that's convenient. But for some people, we might just even grab on behind the, the calf or the thigh. So anyway, the elbows are gonna be straight. And then if you like, you can extend the opposite left leg along the floor and then feel a connection between both feet. Flex the foot. If you can, peace fingers can come to the big toe. If not, you can just with your mind focus, imagine your fingers touching your toe and who knows, one day it will. And the more flex the foot, the stronger the stretch in the calf. So we're just gonna take a few moments here allowing for this lengthening to happen through the back line of the body. With each exhale, you feel yourself relax into the stretch a little bit more, a little bit deeper. If you have the fingers around the toe, release that, and now we're just gonna walk the hands up the calf, inhale through the nose, and exhale, head, neck, and shoulder lift up, and I'm bringing my face towards the knee. Inhale and exhale towards is the key word here. How'd you do? Okay, then we're gonna let the head relax back, knee to chest, flex both feet a lot, and extend that right leg straight. And just for a moment, lengthen across the floor and notice the difference. Perhaps your right leg feels a little bit longer. I know mine does. Then I like to slide the foot in, knee bent, foot flat on the floor, right leg, left leg, we're gonna switcheroo, walk the hands up, take a few moments and breathe into the back of the leg. With each exhale, you feel yourself relax into the stretch a little bit more, a little bit deeper. Something about a hamstring stretch that is so yummy. And then we're gonna flex the foot. Take, if, you, if you can reach, even if you cannot reach, the foot is flexed, but if you can, we're gonna wrap the fingers around the big toe, flex the foot, and ooh, hello to your calf. Say hello, and then inhale through the nose. Exhale, feel yourself stretch a little bit more, a little bit deeper. Do that again one more time, inhale. And exhale. Now for most right-handed people, the left hamstring and calf is gonna be tighter. It's, can be opposite for left-handers. If you're a left-hander, let us know which side is more flexible. Okay, and then bend the knee. Oh, I almost forgot. Walk the hands up the ankle. Extend your opposite leg straight if it is not there yet. Then take an inhale through the nose, exhale, lift up, head, neck, and shoulder, draw the elbows in towards the leg, knee to nose, flex both feet a lot, a lot, a lot, navel down, 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 and then relax the head back, knee to chest, flex both feet, uh, and then extend that leg straight, windshield wiper the feet, windshield wiper, <laughs> and then draw the knees, up to tabletop, bring the arms back out wide to a T, drop the knees towards your left, look to the right hand, take a moment, pause, melt down into the floor, 
Inhale, come up through center, smile, exhale, oh. Knees to the right, gaze to the left, come back. And bring it back to the center. Give yourself a nice big old hug. Good job, self. And we're gonna rock up to a seat so you can start to rock and roll, maybe get some momentum and come on up to the seat. If that does not work for you, what you will do is roll to one side and voila. Okay, we'll come to a comfortable cross leg seat. Position, cluck yeah. Position yourself on the mat. And we'll take a few shoulder rolls up, back and down. And shoulder roll. How about some head circles circling around one way? Ooh, did you catch that? And circling around the other. Noticing the soundtrack of the body. And then bring the chin over the chest. We'll take the palms of the hands up towards the ceiling. Taking the thumb and the index finger together, close the eyes or take a soft, unfocused gaze. And then really concentrating on the breath. Inhale. And exhale. Then go middle finger to thumb. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Let's go ring finger to thumb. Inhale. Exhale. And pinky to the thumb. And then bat the eyelashes open, bringing the hands to prayer. And just taking a moment, listing off some things that bring you joy because I believe in you. You can do whatever you put your heart to. Once again, I'm Parisa Shelton. May you be at peace, be well, and see you later.